We've offered Google Suite training, which really has to do with understanding the Google Suite, whether it's Docs or Sheets, and really integrating that with Canvas and making sure that teachers know how to use that. And the other piece is a smart panel. So we had smart boards for a long time. We have now ViewSonic panels that are starting to come in. Uh, same types of functionality, but they obviously work a little bit differently. So we want to make sure teachers are ready to use those tools in their classrooms. The curriculum drives the technology. So we find out what we want to do in the spaces curriculum based and the technology supports that. And and we're integrating the technology in the curriculum to provide more of an instructional technology. It's a bridge between technology and curriculum. It's almost like a new department where we come together and do these things together to provide that technology space in the classroom, not just putting a device in the classroom, actually infusing it in the curriculum so the teachers and students can maximize the technology, not just use it as like a word processor or Google things. My name is Barry Gersten and I work for ViewSonic. I'm one of ViewSonic's professional development trainers and I travel around the country visiting schools and helping them use the technology to the best of their capability in their classroom. We reviewed all of level one, all of the basics to get started for the school year of how we can integrate things we already have been using in our classroom and now use them on the view board. We know that just bringing a panel into the classroom isn't going to be effective. We want teachers to have all the understanding so that they can make the most use of this technology. My name is Josh Hoyt and uh, I'm a Google authorized trainer. I'm here today just to provide an overview on tips and tricks around how to integrate Canvas. It's important to make them as effective and as efficient uh, as educators as well as to give them simplistic ways to make their life simpler and easier and less stressful. We work with so many different tech tools right now in education and so many times the, uh, from year to year or, or initiative to initiative, sometimes those tools change and, and you don't ever get a chance to get some of the updates as those tech tools are constantly updated. So just being able to give the opportunity for them to see some tips and tricks to use as well as answer questions, give them time to collaborate, I think is, is really powerful professional development to help them grow as lifelong learners. We just had a training um, on Google Suites, which was excellent. Um, so many takeaways on how to make things a little bit easier, how to um, even be a little bit more engaging with students when they complete an assignment. You know, I learned about doing checklists and headings and stuff to make sure that they're completing the work before they move on. It was just an excellent way um, to kind of get the year started. Providing technology PD has been one of the biggest challenges. Teachers are busy doing lesson plans, grading stuff, getting ready for their classes. So to find that time where they can get this trainings that they need to fit into their schedule has been a tremendous challenge. So we were able to offer these classes over the summer. So we want to make sure that the learning paths are there for students and then teachers obviously need to know how to use those tools. Uh, technology is ever growing and faster and faster pace. So we want to make sure our students have those tools in front of them and then obviously teachers need that support to be able to know how to use them, use the data that comes from them and make instructional decisions.